Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I want to look at uh, installing a custom theme in Notepad++. So you see here I have the default Notepad++ theme open. Um, I can change this a little bit by going to Style Configurator and then changing it to one of these themes. And there's about 20 themes here. For instance, we could do Obsidian. That's a little darker. Get increase the font size. Uh, and we'd have to enable these fonts here. If we do that, we see that we've got a larger font size um, with Obsidian installed. You can also go to settings preferences here and go to dark mode and switch it to dark mode if you want uh, with the newer versions of Notepad++. So there we go, and you might have to reset your font again. Uh, but that's uh, you know how we can change some of the default themes in Notepad++. We can also install custom themes. So to do that, I'm gonna open up a browser here. And what I found is the easiest to search for is Notepad. You'll see it probably. Plus plus themes, GitHub, okay? So if I do that, um, we go down here, we can see Dracula. Uh, so let's click on this one, for instance. So Dracula for Notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, we can open up the installation instructions, which are all pretty much the same for all of these. Uh, so we see here, if we're using Git, we can use Git, or we can download the zip manually and then unzip it and then place the Dracula.xml inside uh, the folder. Okay, so let's actually download the zip. So let's go here, we'll go to download zip. Okay. Go in here, uh, and we got it in our downloads. Let's just extract all here, and we'll do that. Okay, then we'll go into here, and we'll find the Dracula.xml. I'm going to copy this, and then let's look at the directions again. It says place that in App Data Roaming Notepad Plus Plus themes. Okay, so let's go here to my folder. We'll go to my PC. Um, let's go to here and show hidden items. Okay, and if we go into users, let's see if we have app data. I think I saw it. There we go. We have app data roaming. Okay, and then we're going to go to Notepad++ into themes. And then let's just do control V and paste that in. And now what we need to do is we need to shut down Notepad++, restart it. Okay, so now if we go to settings, style configurator, and we look, we have Dracula. Okay, so now we have the Dracula theme, and I'll just make this larger so you can see it. Okay, so you can see here we have the Dracula theme installed. So um, let me show you how to install another one. Let's look for a few others. Uh, let's go down here. We have material. Material dark, or we have capuchin. I like the capuchin ones. Let's go here. I'm going to go here, download zip again. Okay, I got the zip downloaded. Let's take a look at that. In our downloads, uh, we'll extract all, extract. Okay, and now we can go into here. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong one. I think it's, yeah, it's this one. Um, and actually, let's just copy all of these. So we'll copy all of them. And then we'll go again, same place. Go here, users. Uh, go to the user that you want. Go to app data, roaming, notepad++, themes. Control V to paste in those four different themes. Okay. Close out notepad++. Restart. Then go to settings, uh, style configurator, and now we have all the capuchin themes. So if I'm gonna do frappe, that's frappe. There's latte is the light one. It's a pretty nice light theme. Uh, macchiato is another one. Mocha is another one. So if we wanna say mocha, again, we can change the font size. Let's put it 18. And we've got our mocha theme. So that's all there is to it, to changing and installing uh, custom themes in Notepad++. 
Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please like and subscribe as it will help out the channel. Thank you.